What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video with Citizen X and today it's another little bit of a different one. It's another technology one. Today we're going to be looking at uh, this. It's an innocent enough looking USB stick. Uh, might be a bit chunky than the ones you would find nowadays. But the difference with this one is it doesn't store any data. This USB stick can actually uh, jam, even though that's not the correct word to use. Uh, deauth would be the correct word to use. It can deauth networks, devices on networks, uh, and it exploits a flaw in the WPA2 network standard. So we're going to explore this today, have a little bit of a look in depth at what it can do. Um, so let's get this thing plugged in. So when you do plug this thing in, it's just like any normal USB device. Uh, there's a little light. I've just plugged that in there. There's a little white light that gives you a flash and then a green light to let you know that everything is working, the firmware is not corrupted, etc. So I'm going to go down to my networks here and you'll see a, a network pop up called Pwned Labau. That's what I've named the deauthor. And once that is uh, in, we can connect to that. And then once we're connected, we can head over to this IP address here. I've already got it put in 192.168.4.1. And that will take us to the page for the deauthor. Now, the uh, creator of this um, piece of firmware, Stefan Kremser, uh, or goes by Space Hunt on GitHub, put a little notice up here saying that it's a proof of concept for testing and educational purposes. Um, use it only against your own networks and devices. And it's not a Wi-Fi jammer. It doesn't work by disrupting frequencies. It works by exploiting a flaw in the WPA2 internet standard and it sends out valid deauthentication frames to the people that don't know. Well, the way this project actually works is this Wi-Fi deauthor sort of becomes the loudest voice in the room when it comes to talking to little devices. So instead of receiving requests to go to a certain website or display a certain bit of content, the router is just going to be constantly getting told to disconnect, disconnect, disconnect. And this deauthor sends so many requests, it becomes the loudest voice in the room and it's all that the router can hear for the time that the deauthentication attack is taking place. Um, so it doesn't necessarily jam um, as you know you might you might have become accustomed to seeing in the movies but it does exploit unencrypted deauthentication frames in the 802.11 standard there are plenty of videos online with people uh, with clickbaity titles talking about wi-fi jammers and stuff so it just gives a warning here saying that um if you if you're making videos uh, just for the clicks, calling it a jammer, you clearly don't understand what you're talking about. You're just doing it for the clicks. And this whole project is to showcase an exploitation and fight for a better Wi-Fi standard, which uh, coincidentally, we'll just click I've read that. Coincidentally, um, the WPA3 Wi-Fi standard, which is coming into effect, I think in June, I could be wrong, has fixed this issue. Now, a fix for this issue has been out for a while. Uh, it came out in 2009, but technology manufacturers and users and IT guys are sometimes fairly reluctant to push out the new updates for whatever reason. So, router manufacturers and things like that, th this has gone unpatched and up until recently um, has been exploitable and will remain exploitable even after w WPA3 is introduced because like I say people don't like to upgrade for whatever reason. So let's have a little look into this, we'll just make sure we're still connected, here we are. So we will go and scan for local routers. So we've scanned for some SSIDs and we have come back with uh, my one, which is fine. So we're going to use this one, which is mine, and we're going to head on over to attacks. Now the two different attacks we have are deauth, plain and simple, which is going to send uh, deauthentication frames to the network. And if it doesn't have this Wi-Fi standard, which is 802.11w2009, which is the one that fixes the unencrypted deauthentication frames issue, we will be able to deauth the network. Now, now, my router does have this standard implemented, so we can't actually show my network being deauthed, but what we can use is this beacon spam. So I'm just going to head over to SSIDs here. Now, I have the deauth device named Pwned Lamau. So when I deauth, stop doing that. When I deauth, uh, not deauth, sorry. When I beacon spam, we're going to get a load of these pop up called Pwned Lamau. So let's go back over to attacks. 
start the beacon spam give it a second to kick into gear and then we will head on over to the wi-fi networks and you can see there's the network there and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pound lamaus and they look like proper networks you know they're secured they need passwords some of them are actually open if we go a bit further down and they've all got pretty strong signal so it's not like they don't look like proper networks so if you were to do this um like I say, only use this on your own networks, but if you were to do this somewhere public, it would be hilarious watching people try and actually connect to some kind of Wi-Fi. Now, what we can also do, we'll stop that there, head back over to SSIDs, and we'll, instead of having the name of the device, we'll enable random mode. Now, what random mode is going to do, um, I think we've got 60 different, yeah, we've got 60 different um, SSIDs that we're going to spam here, and this is just absolute random gibberish. So we'll head back over to attacks, Start the beacon spam again, give it a second to start populating, it's still got some of the old ones in there. So we can see here now that we've got the Pondelum out actual, the USB network is broadcasting itself, we've got the actual network, my network, and we've got absolutely loads of absolutely random gibberish. Again, these, these networks are secured and as we get further down, we start getting to open networks. They've all got full signal, uh, so they do look like real SSIDs and yeah, it's just a bit of fun really it spams the list makes it hard for people to figure out what they're connecting to uh, and you can it's hilarious trying to see people's reactions so what we'll do now is even though i said i think my router has the um new standard on it so it shouldn't de-auth uh we'll go through it and i can show you what it should look like and if it works it works if it doesn't it doesn't so i will get the camera out and point it at my phone we will turn the wi-fi actually let's uh make sure that we start the de-auth attack Turn the Wi-Fi on on my phone. I'm going to automatically connect to the Pwn network because I've been using that on my phone before. We'll try and connect to my Wi-Fi. And it automatically just kicks it straight back. It doesn't want to... And eventually it will just stop showing up. The, the SSID will just stop showing up altogether. All computers connected to that uh, access point will just say that there's no connection available until the deauth attack has stopped. Now, this deauther actually draws quite a low amount of current. So what you could do is connect it to a power bank and use your phone to start the deauth attack. Leave it outside somewhere um, and just have it deauth in for days if you wanted to. You'd have to be an absolute prick to do it, but it's an example of a use case. Um, so there's not really much else I think I can show off with this thing. There is another version of it. It's uh, on a node mcu iot development board which uh if you guys are interested you can do a little bit more with that with the firmware that's on it so if you are interested in seeing that let me know um, but for now we've had a look at the deauth type we've had a look at the beacon spam um so i'll leave it there for this video uh there's another halo video coming out just before the weekend so stay tuned for that if you like this video leave a like if you didn't dislike it let me know in the comments and i'll see you guys in the next one